Have you ever wondered what are the best places to visit in Afghanistan? Welcome to the world of Afghanistan, a land not just of news headlines, but of rich history, diverse cultures, and breathtaking landscapes. This country boasts a myriad of hidden gems, from towering mountain ranges to historic sites, each narrating a unique tale of its own. It's a place where adventure and heritage intertwine, offering an unparalleled experience to its visitors. So, sit back and relax as we take you on a virtual tour of the top places you should visit in Afghanistan. First on our list is the bustling city of Kabul, the capital of Afghanistan. This vibrant metropolis is steeped in history, tracing its roots back to the earliest days of civilization. Kabul is a city that has witnessed the rise and fall of empires, the ebb and flow of cultures, and the relentless march of time itself. Kabul's ancient heart beats in its bustling bazaars. Walking through these markets is like stepping into a living tapestry of colors, sounds, and scents. Artisans ply their trades, their hands deftly crafting traditional wares that echo the skills passed down through generations. Here the air is filled with the aroma of spices and the murmur of haggling, while your eyes dance from the vibrant textiles to the gleaming copperware. Yet amidst this city's bustling commerce, tranquil oases of serenity can be found. The Babur Gardens, named after the first Mughal emperor, Babur, are a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. These meticulously landscaped gardens, with their cascading waterfalls and lush foliage, provide a peaceful respite from the city's energetic pace. The gardens also serve as the final resting place of Babur himself, linking the city's present to its illustrious past. And speaking of the past, no visit to Kabul would be complete without a trip to the Kabul Museum. This repository of Afghan history and culture houses an impressive collection of artifacts. From ancient Bactrian gold to Buddhist sculptures, the museum offers a fascinating glimpse into the diverse cultures that have shaped Afghanistan's identity over the millennia. In Kabul, the past and the present exist side by side, sometimes clashing, sometimes merging, but always creating a unique blend of old and new. It's a city where you can haggle over spices in a traditional bazaar in the morning, explore an ancient garden in the afternoon, and dine in a modern restaurant by night. Kabul, a city where ancient and modern coexist, is truly a sight to behold. It's more than just a city, it's a living, breathing testament to the resilience and spirit of the Afghan people. The city's history, its culture, and its people are what make Kabul a destination worthy of exploration. Next, we journey to Bamiyan, a town that is famous for its cultural history. Nestled within the central highlands, Bamiyan is a place where history whispers through the winds, telling tales of civilizations past. The town's claim to fame is the Bamiyan Buddhas, colossal statues carved into the side of a cliff in the Bamiyan Valley. These statues, once the largest standing Buddha carvings in the world, were a testament to the region's rich Buddhist history. Although they were tragically destroyed in 2001, the enormity of their absence is a hauntingly beautiful reminder of their once grand existence. Today, the niches that once housed these magnificent figures stand empty, but their legacy continues to intrigue visitors from around the globe. Walking through the Bamiyan Valley is like stepping back in time. The echoes of ancient Buddhist monks chanting sutras seem to linger in the air. The area is also home to numerous caves, many of which were once decorated with vibrant Buddhist paintings. These caves provide a glimpse into the lives of the monks who once inhabited them, living in solitude and dedicating their lives to their spiritual pursuits. But Bamiyan's allure doesn't end with its historical treasures. The town is also the gateway to the stunning Bandi Amir National Park, Afghanistan's first national park. This natural wonder is a series of six deep blue lakes, separated by natural dams made of travertine, a mineral deposit. The park's beauty is truly breathtaking, with its shimmering lakes set against the backdrop of rugged, snow-capped mountains. It's a place that invites you to lose yourself in its tranquility, to sit by the water's edge and simply marvel at nature's majesty. In Bamiyan, history and nature intertwine in a captivating dance, making it a destination that is as enriching as it is beautiful. From the echoes of the past resonating from the empty niches of the Bamiyan Buddhas, 
To the serene beauty of Band e Amir National Park, Bamiyan offers a unique journey into Afghanistan's cultural and natural heritage. Bamiyan, with its historic relics and stunning landscapes, is a place that will leave you in awe. Our next stop is Herat, a city with a rich cultural heritage. Nestled in the western part of Afghanistan, Herat is steeped in history that spans thousands of years. It's a city that whispers tales of ancient civilizations, of battles fought and won, of empires that rose and fell in its embrace. Herat's heart beats in its old city, where the majestic Herat Citadel stands tall. This impressive fortress, also known as the Citadel of Alexander, is believed to be originally built over 2,000 years ago by Alexander the Great. It's a testament to the city's strategic importance in the ancient world. Today, it stands renovated, housing a museum that offers a glimpse into the city's past. Just a stone's throw away from the citadel is the famous Friday Mosque, or the Herat Grand Mosque. This architectural marvel is one of the oldest and largest mosques in Afghanistan. As you step inside, you'll be greeted by a world of intricate tile work, a mesmerizing blend of azure and turquoise, a testament to the city's brilliant craftsmanship. The mosque has been a labor of love for centuries, with generations of heritage contributing to its construction and preservation. But the city's artistry doesn't end at architecture. Herat is also renowned for its unique glassware, known as Herati glass. This traditional craft has been passed down through generations, with local artisans blowing life into molten glass, shaping them into exquisite pieces of art. From intricate vases to colorful glass bangles, each piece carries with it a piece of Herat's soul. The city of Herat is a symphony of history, architecture and art, all intertwined in a captivating dance. Every corner tells a story, every stone has a tale to tell. It's a city where the past and the present coexist, where the echoes of history blend seamlessly with the rhythm of everyday life. Herat, with its beautiful architecture and arts, is a city that will captivate your senses. As we leave its streets behind, its tales continue to resonate, painting a vibrant picture of Afghanistan's rich cultural tapestry. Lastly, we explore Mazari Sharif, a city known for its religious and historical significance. This city, the fourth largest in Afghanistan, is nestled in the northern region of the country, where it has stood as a beacon of culture and history for centuries. Mazar-e Sharif, translated as Tomb of the Saint, is named after the revered Ali ibn Abi Talib, cousin and son-in-law of the Prophet Muhammad. It is believed that Ali was secretly buried here, making this city a significant pilgrimage site for the Shia Muslims worldwide. At the heart of the city lies the famous Blue Mosque, also known as the Shrine of Ali. This stunning structure, adorned with countless tiles in shades of blue, turquoise and white, creates an ethereal mosaic under the Afghan sky. The mosque, with its intricate tile work and expansive courtyard, is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Seljuk Empire. It's not just a religious site, but also a gathering place where locals come to socialize and celebrate. And celebrate they do, especially during the Nowruz festival. This Persian New Year celebration, held on the first day of spring, is a vibrant, joyous affair. The city buzzes with excitement as locals and visitors come together to share food, music and dance. The festival's highlight is the traditional Buzkashi game, a horse-mounted sport that is a thrilling spectacle to behold. The city's history is as rich as its present. From the time it was a part of the Seljuk Empire, through the reigns of Genghis Khan and Tamerlane, Mazari Sharif has witnessed the ebb and flow of power and culture. Its resilience and adaptability are evident in the city's diverse architectural styles and cultural practices. Mazari Sharif, with its vibrant culture and religious sites, is truly a city that will leave you mesmerized. Its rich history, the allure of the Blue Mosque, and the lively spirit of Nauruz all paint a picture of a city that's deeply rooted in its past, yet buzzing with the energy of the present. A visit to Mazari Sharif is a journey through time, a glimpse into the soul of Afghanistan. That brings us to the end of our virtual tour of Afghanistan. Just as the journey through the winding trails and unending tales, our exploration of Afghanistan has been nothing short of extraordinary. We've voyaged through the bustling streets of Kabul, a city that is as lively as it is historic. 
The city's rich tapestry of culture and tradition, its pulsating energy, and its indomitable spirit are a testament to the resilience of the Afghan people. We then made our way to Bamiyan, an oasis of tranquility nestled in the heart of Afghanistan. The towering Buddha statues standing tall amidst the rugged mountains bear witness to a bygone era of grandeur and spirituality. Our journey continued to Herat, a city steeped in history and adorned with architectural marvels. The city's illustrious past and vibrant present paint a picture of a place where time has beautifully blended the old with the new. And last but certainly not least, we ventured into Mazari Sharif, renowned for its stunning blue mosque and the sacred tomb of Ali. The city's vibrant festivals and deep-rooted traditions are a celebration of the rich cultural heritage of Afghanistan. So, next time you think of Afghanistan, remember it's not just about the news headlines, but a country with beautiful landscapes, rich history, and a vibrant culture that are worth exploring.